Hello, today we will be learning about the this keyword. Uh, and oftentimes when we create classes, programmers will create local variables with the same name as the instance variables. For example, consider the code block below. Uh, we have the with the name and then input name, okay. And then this we have a string name right here, and then you have a string name right here. So how does this know if it's referring to this string name or this string name, you know? So we have an instance variable called name, but the method speak new name has a parameter name name. So when we so when the method tries to print name, which very well will be printed, by default, Java refers to the local variable name. So in this case, the value passed to the parameter will be printed, not the instance variable. If we wanted to access the instance variable and not the local variable, we would use the this keyword. So this dot name would essentially call the instance variable instead of this one. And the disk keyword is a reference for to the current object. We use this dot name in our speak new name method. This caused the method to print out the value stored in the instance variable name of whatever dog object called speak new name. Note that this is somewhat uh, somewhat of a contrived example. The local variable name used as a parameter gets completely ignored. Oftentimes, you'll see constructors have uh, parameters with the same name as the instance variable. For example, you might see something like public dog. And by the way, this is a constructor. String name, and it just says this dot name. So it's referring to the the instance variable over here. So you can read this as set this dog's instance variable name equal to the variable passed into the constructor. While this naming is a common convention, it can also be confusing. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with naming your parameters something uh, else to be more clear. Some things you'll see, sometimes you'll see something like this. So you'll do input name and then name. Now this is a little clearer. We're setting the dog's instance variable name equal to the name we give to the constructor. Finally, the mutator methods or the setters uh, also usually follow this pattern. Okay. And we set the instance variables to the value passed into the parameter. Throughout the rest of this lesson, we'll use the this dot when referring to an instance variable. This isn't always explicitly necessary if there's no uh, local variable with the same name. Java will know to use the instance variables with that name. That being said, it's a good habit to use the this dot keyword when working with your uh, instance variables to avoid potential confusion. So let's take a look at the instance variables for the savings account class. There are three of them, owner, uh, balance dollar, and balance euro. Next, let's take a look at the constructor. The job of the constructor is to initialize these. Complete the constructor to give all the all three uh, instance variables. The instance variable owner should be set to the local uh, variable owner and the instance variable balance dollar should be set to the local variable balance dollar. Finally, the instance variable balance euro should be set equal to the local um, balance dollar multiplied by uh, 0 0.85. Right now, every dollar is worth 0 0.85. Okay, so let's do it. So what we'll do first is we'll do this dot owner equals owner. Then we'll do this dot balance dollar equals balance dollar. And then this 
there. You can see, yeah, we'll do this dot. What is it? Balance zero is equal to. Balance dollar balance dollar times zero point eight five. Okay. Right. Perfect. Okay. Now let's take a look at the add money uh, method. This method should add the value stored in the parameter balance dollar to the instance variable balance dollar. Before adding the money to the account, print out this statement, adding blank dollars to the account. Okay, so system.out.print line, and we'll do adding plus this dot balance dollar plus to the account okay and then after adding the money print the statement the new balances okay so the system print line and we'll do the new balances. And then we'll do balance dollar plus dollars. Okay, so. So you have to add, okay, so before adding, print that out, okay, after adding the money, print the statement out, okay. So in between here, we do need to add the money here. So we will do the, mm, we'll do, Balance dollar equals equals this dot balance dollar plus balance dollar. So it's adding whatever we had before with what we have now and the total now. And then call the add money method once, um, once in the main method and add two thousand dollars to Zeus's account. Okay. So we'll do note that the function will probably update based on the parameter. We won't taste you, but you can try implementing that. Also, note is a pretty bad name for the parameter. Something like money to add would make more sense. Okay. So we will add uh, Zeus savings account dot add money and we'll add in two thousand. Hmm. We get errors. Balance dollar. Balance dollar. What is the issue? Line eighteen. The new balance dollar is oh plus. Oh, 
Okay, we're bidding an error on number 17 now. So, 17, okay. Cannot find symbol. What do you mean you can't find symbol balance dollar? Hmm. Okay. So let's get a hint. Okay, okay, makes sense. So we'll do plus equals to that. Okay, so we need to set that equal to that. Okay, try running it now. Start bounds. Hmm. All right. So this dot balance dollars. Plus equals balance dollar. Okay, adding. Oh, I see. Okay. Left, right, this the balance dollar. Okay. Now, what is this? Oh, I didn't, I spilt it wrong. Okay, balance dollar. And then, you know what, we're just going to take this. We're going to copy this. We'll make it a new do. To the account. Okay, add in. Add in two thousand. To the account. Okay. And there you go. That's the whole method as well as the um, whole this dot keyword. And that's going to end the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.